bank account it are 1 lakh 5000 to 8% debenture 1 lakh to issue of debenture premium 5000 this is 1 lakh 5000 Issued a 10% discount. 10% minus 10% discount means 20,000 gone. How much you are receiving? One lakh, 80,000 you are receiving. General reserve account debt are one lakh. To bonus to shareholder account four lakh. Then last entry. Bonus to shareholder account debt are to equity share capital account. Hello, my dear student. I am Dr. B. S. Subramanian. Call my name, Dr. B. S. S. Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidya Ashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, I am going to solve third semester B. Com. Corporate Accounting One, Session One, Model Question Paper, which related to question number. I have split the entire transaction into two groups: one A, one B, one C. C is only theory. Whereas A, I am going to solve here. That is, we say that session one, ten marks question, only practical question. I am going to solve. What are the ten marks question will come? That I am going to solve. Then session two, we are going to solve only fifteen marks question, only practical side. Theory will give a separate number account. So we'll move on to next one. So this is a question practically we are going to touch regarding the five marks. I will give the hint for that. See that. Generalize the following transaction. They say three thousand ten percent debenture of rupees hundred each issued at par and redeemable at par. We have got certain condition in redemption of debenture. What do you mean by redemption? Means payback of debenture. We have taken the loan and pay back the debenture. So taken at par, repayable at par. The entry goes. Bank account data to debenture account, debenture account data to bank account. I will repeat once again. When you take an at par, redeemable at par, bank account data to debenture account, debenture account data to bank account. Take an at a premium, paid at par, bank account data to debenture account. Two debenture premium account, paid at par, debenture account data to bank account. Issued at a discount. Payable at par entry bank account data discount account data to debenture account paid at par debenture account data to bank account issued at five percent premium redeemable at ten percent premium so there is a loss of five percent bank account data loss on issue of debenture account data to debenture account. Two debenture premium issued at a discount, repayable at a premium. So assume that you got hundred rupees issued at five percent discount, five rupees gone. So you are receiving only ninety five. Payable at ten percent premium, hundred and ten means fifteen rupees last now. Bank account at R ninety five. Last one issue of debenture account at R fifteen. Two debenture hundred. Two debenture premium ten rupees. Pay paid for payment entry. Debenture account at R. Debenture premium account data to bank account. Now we will go with these entries. This is a model question paper for ten marks. There are five entries or five groups are there. Each will have got two marks each. First, we'll go that three thousand ten percent debenture of rupees hundred each. Three thousand into hundred is three lakh. Issued at par, redeemable at par. Taken at par, redeemable at par. Date. Particulars, ledger folio, debit, credit, followed with rupees. So first, let us see that three thousand ten percent debenture issued at par issued entry. We receiving three thousand into hundred is three lakh. First entry, bank account data. Three thousand into rupees hundred. That is three lakh. So debenture value two ten percent debenture. This is three lakh. Receiving it. This is A. Then B. 
this is receiving entry now you have to pay by at par 10% debenture account debtor Three lakh, two bank account, three lakh. Take a net par, redeemable net par. Or say entry, take a net par, redeemable net par. Or say entry, bank account debtor. To ten percent debenture. What is ten percent? That's the rate of interest. Rate of interest. What's the entry? Bank account debt are three lakh. To ten percent debenture account debt are three lakh. Paid back at par. Ten percent debenture account debt are three lakh. To bank account. This is receiving entry. This is the payment entry. This is the first entry goes. Second one. For second entry, see that this over. One thousand eight percent debenture of rupees hundred each. So one thousand eight hundred is one lakh. You should at five percent discount on one lakh five percent goes to five thousand will go. You should at one thousand eight percent debenture of rupees hundred each. You should at five percent premium and redeemable at par. You should at a premium but redeemable at par. So what's the value? First entry. Bank account debtor one lakh is the face value. Five percent means five thousand. We receiving one lakh five thousand. Uh, what's the rate of debenture? So two eight percent debenture. One lakh two. Debenture premium five percent five thousand eight percent debenture account debtor one lakh two bank account one lakh paid at par. So what's the entry? Bank account debt are one lakh five thousand to eight percent debenture one lakh to issue of debenture premium five thousand. This is one lakh five thousand. Now this is a payment entry. Eight percent debenture account debt are one lakh to bank account one lakh. This is issue entry. This is a payment entry. Take an at a premium paid at par. This over. Come back to here. Five thousand nine percent debenture of rupees hundred each issued at five percent discount redeemable at par. So five thousand into hundred. This is five thousand into hundred five lakh. How much discount here issued at five percent discount? This is twenty five. So you are receiving only. Four lakh seventy-five thousand only. Then twenty-five thousand is the discount. So what's the value? Five thousand nine percent debenture of five percent discount bank account out of five lakh. Twenty-five thousand gone. So this is a third entry. Bank account debtor in the bracket five lakh minus twenty-five thousand four lakh seventy-five thousand discount on issue discount. On issue, five percent, twenty-five thousand. Then what's the rate of debenture? Two nine percent debenture. Two nine percent debenture. 
फाइव लैक इश्यू एंट्री दिस इज योर ए देन बी सो पेडेड मोर्स फार्म से इस इश्यू पेडेड पार नाइन परसेंट डिबेंचर अकाउंट डेटार फाइव लैक टू बैंक अकाउंट सी दट बैंक अकाउंट डेटार डिस्काउंट ऑन इश्यू ऑफ डिबेंचर अकाउंट डेटार टू नाइन परसेंट डिबेंचर पेड एट पार नाइन परसेंट डिबेंचर अकाउंट डेटार फाइव लैक टू बैंक अकाउंट फाइव लैक दिस इज पेमेंट एंट्री सो फाइव लैक फाइव लैक so this is pi lakh entry so issued entry issued at a discount bank account debtor discount account debtor to 9% debenture 9% is rate of interest paid at par 9% debenture account debtor to bank account so third entry goes come back fourth entry this over 4,010% debenture of rupees 100 each issued at 5% premium and redeemable at 10% premium. He says, so here 4,000 into 100 is 4 lakh. Issued at 5% premium, 5% means 20,000. But redeemable at 10% mean means 40,000. That means you taken at four lakh twenty thousand, paid at four lakh forty thousand, payable at ten percent premium, taken at five percent premium. See that four thousand into hundred is four lakh. At issued at five percent premium, you are receiving four lakh twenty thousand. But how much you are going to pay? Four lakh forty thousand you are to pay means how much loss we suffered is twenty thousand. We took at four lakh twenty thousand, paid at four lakh forty thousand. Example: When you take hundred rupees, issued at rupees one not five, so five percent premium you are receiving one not five. Payable at ten percent means. Hundred and ten rupees. So you are losing the loss of five rupees here. You took at what rate? Five percent premium means four lakh plus twenty thousand. We are receiving four lakh twenty thousand. While you are going to pay back, how much you are going to pay back? Four lakh forty thousand. You are going to pay back. Me, you are the loser of twenty thousand. So this is fourth entry, ten percent debenture at a premium four lakh twenty thousand. So third one here we should know. बैंक अकाउंट डेटार फोर लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड लॉस ऑन इश्यू ऑफ डिबेंचर लॉस ऑन इश्यू ऑफ डिबेंचर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड परसेंटेज ऑफ डिबेंचर टू Ten percent debenture, four lakh. Two debenture premium, forty thousand. That means you took at four lakh twenty thousand. You are going to pay how much? Twenty four lakh forty thousand. How much you are the loser? Twenty thousand is the loss. See that four lakh forty, four lakh twenty. You are receiving you are going to four lakh. But paid what he says? No. What the problem says? Redeemable at ten percent premium. No. So date particulars ledger folio D R C R. So paid is fourth B. What's the value here? Ten percent debenture, four lakh debenture premium, forty thousand. 
true bank account you are going to pay 4 lakh 40000 see the board once again i think you are following he is going to pay what's a face value debenture 4 lakh at a premium of 40000 4 lakh 40000 is going to pay actually he took cut 4 lakh 20000 now he is going to pay 4 lakh 40000 rupees fifth one 2000 10% debenture of rupees 100 each issued at 10% discount and redeemable at 5% premium so 2000 into 100 is 2 lakh issued at 10% discount 10% minus 10% discount means 20000 gone how much you are receiving 1 lakh 80000 you are receiving but redeemable at 5% premium 5% of 2 lakh is 10000 you are going to pay 2 lakh 10000 you are going to pay how much you are receiving 1 lakh 80000 how much you are going to pay 2 lakh 10000 you are taken at a discount redeemable at a premium you took at what value 1 lakh 80000 how much is payable 2 lakh 10000 how much you paid extra 30000 that is a loss on debenture you are receiving how much 1 lakh 80000 but you are paying 2 lakh 10000 so 10% debenture y yeah. bank account data this is 2 lakh minus see the discount at 10% discount minus 20000 gone it is 1 lakh 80000 but you are going to pay 2 lakh 10000 loss on issue of debenture Thirty thousand two ten percent debenture two lakh two debenture premium ten thousand. Taken at one lakh eighty thousand, repayable of two lakh ten thousand. You are the loser of how much money? Thirty thousand is a loss. What is the entry? You receive how much? One lakh eighty thousand. So bank account it are one lakh eighty thousand. Loss on issue of debenture account it are thirty thousand. Two ten percent debenture two lakh. Two debenture premium two lakh ten thousand. Paid at a premium no. Last entry. Ten percent. डिबेंचर अकाउंट डेटार टू लैक डिबेंचर प्रीमियम अकाउंट डेटार टेन थाउजेंड टू बैंक अकाउंट पेमेंट टू लैक टेन Paid at premium, so entry ten percent debenture account debtor, debenture premium account debtor ten thousand, two bank account two lakh ten thousand. So you take at a discount, repayable at a premium. So both the side you are suffering a loss. You are not you take at a lower value, paid at a higher value. You are the loser of thirty thousand. Twenty plus ten, thirty thousand. You are the loser. So five entry in examination. No, they will ask the five entry. Each entry will have a split into two. So five into two, ten marks. Definite question from the examination of point of view. Only five entry they are going to ask. Hope you understand. So taken at par, redeemable at par. Bank account at par to debenture account. Debenture account at par to bank account. Taken at a premium, redeemable at par. Bank account at par, two debenture account. Two debenture premium account paid at par. Debenture account data to bank account issued at a discount. Redeemable at a par bank account data. Discount on issue of debenture account data. Two debenture account paid at par. Debenture account data to bank account. So issued at five percent premium. Redeemable at ten percent premium. Entry bank account data. 
ஜூ டிபென்ச்சர் அக்கௌண்ட் பேங்க் அக்கௌண்ட் டேட்டா லாசான் இஷ்யூ ஆஃப் டிபென்ச்சர் அக்கௌண்ட் டேட்டா ஜூ டிபென்ச்சர் அக்கௌண்ட் ஜூ டிபென்ச்சர் ப்ரீமியம் இஷ்யூட் அட் ஃபைவ் பர்சன்ட் டிஸ்கவுண்ட் ரிடீமபல் அட் எ ப்ரீமியம் என்ட்ரி டபுள் லாஸ் யூ காட் பேங்க் அக்கௌண்ட் டேட்டா லாசான் இஷ்யூ ஆஃப் டிபென்ச்சர் அக்கௌண்ட் டேட்டா ஜூ டிபென்ச்சர் அக்கௌண்ட் ஜூ டிபென்ச்சர் ப்ரீமியம் ஃபார் பேமெண்ட் என்ட்ரி டிபென்ச்சர் அக்கௌண்ட் டேட்டார் டிபென்ச்சர் ப்ரீமியம் அக்கௌண்ட் டேட்டார் டு பேங்க் அக்கௌண்ட் hope you understand very very simple entry definite question from the examination point of view we'll move on to next question now yashes company limited issued bonus to make their partly paid up share into fully paid up share out of the general reserve this is important out of the general reserve so general reserve will be utilized the security premium and crr capital redemption reserve will be utilized to declare the two fully paid bonus share for five share held balance on on one four is given below 10000 equity share of 100 each 80 paid up here partly paid will be made fully paid uh, by issuing the bonus to them that 20 rupees is a bonus with the help of what general reserve in exam they will mention either the general reserve or the profit and loss account mention so the common and five entries they utilize the general reserve general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account make the final call share final call account data to share capital account give the final call as a bonus bonus to shareholder account data to share final call account i will repeat the entry utilize the general reserve if they say no general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder partly paid share made fully paid share entry general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account then entry final call share final call account data to share capital account give the final calls to bonus to shareholder bonus to shareholder account data to share final call account each entry two mass each entry two mass then they have given two fully paid bonus share for every five share if you have got a five share they will give the two share as a bonus if you have got a five share they will give the two share as a bonus how many shares you have got for 10000 share question mark 2 divided by 5 into 10000 52 so 4000 share at the rate of rupees 100 each so 4000 into 100 this is 4 lakh further bonus for every 5 share new company gives the 2 share for 10000 share they are going to give the 4000 share each share is having how much money 100 rupees 4 lakh for further bonus what they say is utilized what do you have to like security premium how much security premium is there 2 lakh crr 1 lakh how much shortage 1 lakh you take 1 lakh from the general reserve then entry crr account data security premium account data general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account the last entry bonus to shareholder account data to equity share capital account for that type of first entry general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account then call the final call share final call account data to share capital account utilize the final call for bonus bonus to shareholder account data to share final call account this is a regular entry partly paid made the fully paid further issue for every five share new company gives the two share for 10000 share they give the 4000 share so 4000 into 100 is 4 lakh utilize what what they say security premium cr will be utilized the balance will be utilized from the general reserve entry you say that first one security premium account data 2 lakh crr account data 1 lakh general reserve account data 1 lakh to bonus to shareholder account 4 lakh then last entry bonus to shareholder account data to equity share capital account the five entries five marks we'll go with the entry now the general entries date particulars ledger for you debit credit followed with rupees cr 
he declare what is the first entry general partly paid share see that 10000 equity share of 100 80 is paid up how much the balance is 20000 so 10000 in 20 is 2 lakh first entry general reserve account debtor in the bracket 10000 into rupees 20 2 lakh 2 bonus to shareholder account bonus to shareholders 2 lakh B bonus declared now make the final call so part 80 has been paid what's the balance 20 rupees make the final call share final call account data Two lakh to share capital account two lakh make the final being final card for the first entry we utilize the general reserve general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account next entry share final call account data to share capital account number three the common entry in uh, issue share bank account data to share final call instead of bank we say that bonus to share instead of we collecting we give as a bonus bonus to shareholders account data bonus to shareholders account data Two lakh to share final card. Being final call, being final call utilized. So, what is the first entry? You declare the bonus with the help of the general reserve. If they declare out of the profit and loss account, then profit and loss account data to bonus to shareholder account. If they utilize the both, general reserve and profit and loss account, the entry will be general reserve account data, profit and loss account data to bonus to shareholder account. Partly paid share made the fully paid share. Make the final call. Share final call account data to share capital account. Give the final call as a bonus to shareholder. Bonus to shareholder account data to share final call account. This is for regular partly paid made fully paid. Then, so here further is showed. See that the security premium CRR will be declared to see that this is to fully paid bonus share. This is in the for five shares held, if you have got a five share, the company gives a two bonus share. If you have got a 10,000 share, they will give the 4,000 share. At what rate? Existing 100 rupees per share. So 400 and 100 is 4 lakh. So you declare the further bonus with the help of what? Security premium and sale. In security premium, how much you got? 2 lakh. In CRR, you have got 1 lakh. You have got a reserve of rupees 3 lakh. You already utilized 2 lakh. How much left over? 1 lakh. Utilize for that. This is for 4 lakh. Pass the entry. Fifth entry. Pass the entry. Fourth entry. What are these? Security premium account data. Uh, how much you got in the security premium? You got 2 lakh. Like. 
capital redemption reserve account data 1 lakh so 2 lakh plus 1 lakh 3 lakh general reserve account data general reserve account data 1 lakh 2 bonus to shareholders account bonus to shareholders 4 lakh this is further bonus last entry bonus to shareholders account data bonus to shareholders account data four lakh two equity share capital account to equity share capital four lakh bean bonus being bonus paid in shares in equity shares see that five entries i will go one by one first one so partly paid share made the fully paid share with the help of the general reserve general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account so we make the final call share final call account data to share capital account paid them in the share of final call bonus to shareholder account data to share final call account this is for partly paid share made the fully paid share now we'll have a further share for every five share the company gives the two share you got how many share 10000 share the company is going to give 4000 share each share contain 100 rupees so 4000 into 100 is 4 lakh further bonus declared they are saying utilize what crr utilize security premium with their any shortage come utilize the general reserve entry security premium account data crr account data general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account how they have been paid in the form of equity share capital bonus to shareholder account data to equity share capital account very very easy very very easy you can utilize general reserve or profit and loss account if you utilize pre and l account pre and l account data to bonus to share so partly paid share will be made fully paid share hope you have followed very easy so slowly you can go through entry general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account share final call account data to share capital account bonus to shareholder account data to share final call account now further bonus utilize security premium account data crr account data general reserve account data to bonus to shareholder account how they have been paid in the form of equity share bonus to shareholder account data to equity share capital account hope you understand so this is a redemption of preference share ex limited redeem its preference share amounting to rupees 5 lakh at a premium of 10% so your face value is 5 lakh premium is face value so preference share face value real value premium at what percentage at a 5 rupees 5 lakh at a premium of 10% percent. Uh, what's your face value 5 lakh 10% percent premium is 50000 so we are going to pay 5 lakh 50000 uh 
So 10,000 equity share of 20 each at a premium of rupees 5 per share means at rupees 25 we are going to issue. The company has a balance of 2 lakh in the general reserve, 2 lakh 50,000 in the profit and loss account and the bank balance is 3 lakh, right? A journal entry is there. So you have to pay what you have to pay 5 lakh rupees, 5 lakh 50,000. How many shares are issued? 10,000, what is the face value? 10,000 in 20 is 2 lakh. So you got it 2 lakh from the equity share. What is the balance? 3 lakh. For that you can utilize general reserve and profit and loss account. Create an account called CRR. Here the funds of the company, we say that funds we say. We can say the word called funds. The funds are number 1, general reserve. Number 2, profit and loss. These are all the funds of the company. If you issue the share for the balance, you have to create the CRR. If you create the CRR with the help of general reserve and profit and loss account, for the balance, you have to issue the share. This is the two ways. Which are the two ways? If you issue the share, how much you have to pay? 5 lakh. For the sake of 5 lakh, you issue the share face value. 10,000 into 20 is 2 lakh. You already got 2 lakh rupees. Okay. Plus premium 5 rupees, so 10,550 means you are receiving 2,50,000. But what is your face value? 2 lakh. What is the premium? 50,000. How much premium you have to pay? 50. Premium to premium is say Equity share premium to preference share premium. That is settled down. Then what is your face value? 5 lakh. How much you got? 2 lakh. How much shortage you got? 3 lakh rupees. Utilize the, the company has a balance of 2 lakh in the general reserve. Here see that the company has a balance of 2 lakh in the general reserve, 2 lakh 50,000 in the profit end, loss account. You can utilize the 2 lakh. If you want how, many, how much money you got, 3 lakh or 2 lakh already got in the equity share. You can utilize 2 lakh in the general reserve and 1 lakh from the profit end, loss account. So 1 lakh plus 2 lakh becomes a 3 lakh rupees. Create the CRR. What's the entry? General reserve account data, profit and loss account data to CRR account. Then bank balance is 3 lakh. See that? I will explain. You are going to pay 5 lakh at a premium 15. So you are going to pay 5 lakh 50,000. You are going to pay face value to face value, premium to premium. If the premium is not available, we can pay out of the profit and loss account. If the premium is available, pay out with the premium. So you got, you should have a share. 10,000 equity share of 20 each at a premium of 5 means you got a premium of 10,000 5 is 50,000 you already. From that premium you pay the premium. You pay the premium from equity share premium to preference share premium you can pay. Then what's your face value? 5 lakh. For issuing the share how much you got? 2 lakh. What is shortage? 3 lakh. For that you create an account called CRR. Capital Redemption Reserve with the help of general reserve and profit and Last account. In general reserve, how much you got? 2 lakh in the general reserve, 2 lakh 15 profit and loss account. You take 2 lakh from the general reserve, 1 lakh from the profit and loss account. Create the CRR. What's the entry? General reserve account data, profit and loss account data to CRR account. Now pay the amount. Redeemable preference share capital account data 5 lakh. Redeemable preference share premium account is 50,000. To redeemable preference share holder account 5 lakh 50,000. Last entry, redeemable preference share holder account data to bank account. So, what's your face value 5 lakh? By issuing the share. I'll tell you how to issue the share. General entry, date, particulars, ledger folio, DR, CR followed with rupees. Uh, first issue the share. Uh, how many shares are issued? 10,000 at rupees 20 at the rate of 25 now. Bank account data in the bracket 10,000 share at rupees 25. So 2 lakh 50,000 receiving. 2 share equity share capital, equity share capital in the bracket 10,000 into 20, this is 2 lakh, 2 equity share premium Ten 
ten thousand into five fifty thousand. So you receive how much? Two lakh fifty thousand. What's your face value? Two lakh fifty thousand. Either way, being shares issued. How much premium is payable? Fifty thousand paid out of the equity share premium. Number two, equity share premium account debtor. Equity share premium account debtor. Fifty thousand. Two, redeemable. Preference share premium fifty thousand being equity share premium being equity share premium utilized. So issue the share. We issue two lakh fifty thousand equity share premium. Then equity share premium account debt are to redeemable preference share account. Now the company utilizes you have to create a CRR to the extent of the two lakh from the general reserve, one lakh from the profit and loss account. We can say that third entry debit general reserve account debt are. General reserve account debtor two lakh profit and loss account debtor one lakh two CRR account three lakh. Bing CRR created. So five lakh you got. Now pay back redeemable preference share capital. Five lakh redeemable preference share premium fifty thousand two redeemable. Preference share holders account transfer entry five lakh fifty thousand. What's the entry? Redeemable preference share capital account debtor. Redeemable preference share premium account debtor to redeemable preference share holder account being capital. Plus premium transferred. Last entry, payment entry. Redeemable preference share holders account debt are five lakh fifty thousand. Five lakh fifty thousand. Two bank account. Five lakh fifty thousand. What's the entry? Redeemable preference share holders account debt are two bank account. Being preference share holders paid.
So I'll repeat the entry. Bank account at R to equity share capital to equity share premium face value premium to premium equity share premium account at R to redeemable preference share premium. Then you got two lakh. How much you have to pay back? Five lakh. You want five lakh? Out of that, you already got two lakh in the equity share. What's the balance? Three lakh. Create CRR. CRR created. CRR is created. So here to general reserve account at R, profit and loss account at R to CRR account being CRR created. Then redeemable preference share capital account at R, redeemable preference share premium account at R to redeemable preference shareholder account 5 lakh. 50,000 pay them redeemable preference shareholder account data to bank account. All the three problems will come. All the three problems are easy. Another two only theory question you are going to ask that we have got a separate notes for that. I am doing only practical side 10 mass. I solved one debenture, one bonus share, one redeemable preference shareholder account. All the three problems have been solved. So all the three problems are very easy. I show you 5 lakh 50,000. So 5 lakh 50,000. The funds of the companies are general reserve and profit and loss account has been utilized. What is the point to be bear in mind in exam now? First, if you create the CRR, then issue the share. If you create the, if you issue the share, create the CRR. If the CRR is created, issue the share. In this problem, we have issued the share. For the balance, you create the CRR. By chance, if the shares, number of shares are issued, if they don't mention the, the actual number figures, then first we'll create the CRR. Then for the balance, we'll issue the share. Only two method, create the, issue the share, create the CRR or create the CRR, issue the share. So the two funds are general reserve and profit and loss account. Hope you understand. So I have solved the three problems from the examination of point two. Definitely it will help you. 10 mass question, easy to pass. In the end, I will let you know the theory, which question will come. No, no, I'm doing only practical question, which I'm doing help you. So one on redemption of debenture, one on bonus share, one on redeemable preference share amount. All the three will come. They will ask the five question. You have to answer any three question. I'm practicing only practical side. One on redemption of debenture. One is the bonus share, one is the redeemable, preferential, all the three problems I have done. So please follow it, definitely it will help you from the examination point of view. In the next session, I am going to deal about the 15 mass question. One issue of share, one final account, one redemption of preference share, one liquidation. All the four problems built in the next session. Till then, goodbye, meet in the next session with 15 mass question. Please practice, definitely it will help you from the examination of point two, which are the three problems so you have to deal here. One is the bonus share, one is a redemption of debenture, one is a redemption of preference share. So redemption of preference share will come in the both the side, one for 15 mass, one for 10 mass. So here 25 mass is covering, so better to go that particular problem. So debenture will come for 10 mass and bonus share is very easy that will come out there. Hope. You understand that? Thank you. Thank you very much. So in this session, I covered one on debenture, one on bonus share, one on redemption of preference share. In the next session, I'm going to cover every the four problems. One issue of share with pro rata, one liquidation, one company final account, one redemption of preference. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session with 15 mass. Till then, hope better to read and confirm yourself about this problem. Thank you. Thank you once again.